My name is Kevin Donovan. I'm a sophomore at Georgetown University, and I founded the Free Culture chapter there, um, and I'm involved with helping to spread open courseware on campus. So a lot of smart people have asked for the past decade or so, what is the future of education in the digital world? And though the answer really isn't set in stone, it seems increasingly clear that part of that is going to be open courseware. Now, open courseware is this idea or initiative that started at MIT in 2001, 2002, when they asked, you know, what does our university look like in the internet age? And they realized that the internet had significantly lowered the publishing costs, and they had this tremendous opportunity to spread knowledge, which is their mission. So MIT decided to take the unprecedented step of publishing their course material, their syllabi, their lectures, their assignments, um, and putting them online for free for anyone in the world to access. Now more than, so that's a couple years ago, now more than 250 schools around the world have all joined uh, the Open Courseware Consortium and are publishing their material free for use, redistribution, improvement, translation, anything under free Creative Commons license. Now reasonable people initially asked why would a university want to give away its crown jewels, why would they do this? But I think when you look at the mission of higher education and the benefits of Open Courseware, you see that they align nicely. So. Higher education exists to spread knowledge, to expand the frontiers of human knowledge, and that's why we publish results widely, that's why we collaborate extensively. And MIT, or OpenCourseWare, in a more general form, just takes that to the next logical level and expands the global conversation about education to anyone with an internet connection. Personally, I'm most excited about what it'll do to people that don't already have access to higher education. So the farmer in Kenya who wants to increase crop yields or a student in Peru who doesn't you know, understand his out-of-date textbook. But it isn't really just about charity, it's about the mutual benefits that come about from sharing. You know, these can be reputational. For example, when MIT surveyed an incoming class of, I think, uh, their class of 2005, uh, the incoming freshmen then, over a third of them were familiar with their open courseware initiative and that had been a positive influence upon deciding to attend MIT. It can also help to highlight departments you know, or individual professors at universities more holistically and honestly than traditional published material would. It can also increase the quality of the intellectual discourse on campus. Again, the MIT survey has astounding numbers. Something above 70% of students 50% of professors and 40% of alumni uh, all report using open course where students can use it to help choose classes better, professors can improve uh, their teaching methods by observing their colleagues work. So open course has a lot of benefits to the university, these are just a couple. But I think it's really important to ask why now? And I think it's as important now as ever because it, open course work can help prime our economy for future success. Um, in a recent interview, Michael Porter, who's a professor at Harvard, was talking about the competitiveness internationally, and he noted that the United States had fallen out of the top ten in rankings of college attainment. So, although we have some of the best universities in the world, supply is, outstri or is not meeting the demand for these universities, and students are wanting an education but can't attain it because there's not enough room. And Education should be open to all who desire. There's always a desire for education, but especially in uncertain times, there's even more. In a, a story in the Wall Street Journal a couple weeks ago noted that finance and management courses at the uh, open courseware sites of UC Irvine and MIT had increased 30% since September because people are looking for answers and they've looked to education for that. So, of course, there are challenges to open courseware. Some of those are financial, some of those are related to intellectual property. But there are dozens of universities in the United States and hundreds more outside the United States that have surmounted these challenges. And they do them in really innovative ways that help to spread knowledge throughout the world. And it shows that these are these are challenges that we can really overcome for open courseware. Now, I guess I'm a Georgetown student. I have access to some of the best uh, professors and classes in the world and you know maybe why do I want to spread that I'm, I'm highly cognizant that I'm in the minority of people who have access to education and I think that there are far more people who want a high quality education than can get it I think there are far more people who deserve a high quality education than can get it 
And I also think that by spreading it to as many people as you can will magnify the benefits that educating my peers has by spreading it to everyone and giving a larger group of people who are educated for the, you know, the upcoming tasks that we have to do. And I'm interested in this because I think education is one of the most important missions we have. Spreading knowledge has always been important to me and openness is an integral part of that. And open courseware is this really smart, which is an increasingly established way to, uh, to be open about education and spread knowledge throughout the world.